Welcome back everyone. Welcome to sunny Devon. On a little bit of a staycation this weekend uh, for my birthday, which was yesterday. Didn't get out on the bike yesterday, but went for a nice walk up on Dartmoor, which was, uh, yeah, nice, but couldn't really see much. But the weather's improved today. So I thought it'd be a nice day to uh, get out on the bike, explore some of the local lanes here. It's a place that I've never ridden. Uh, I've never actually been this far south before, so completely new experience staying down in Plymouth. But yeah, looking forward to a little spin out today on some nice new roads. Next couple of days, hopefully I'll get out for a a couple hours each day and uh, get to explore the roads down here and I'm hoping you guys will join me as well. From what I've heard it's uh, a really nice area down here and I'm looking forward to discovering the little lanes and uh, climbs that you can see behind me. So I've just come over the bridge from Plymouth heading west today. Um, I plotted a little route on my Wahoo so I'm following that. don't really know where I'm going but uh, I've had a little look on, on Google Maps and it looks to be a a nice little route. Just these lovely little villages everywhere you kind of go. One minute you think you're in the middle of nowhere, next minute you come across a, a nice little village with a lovely church. As I say, I've never ridden down here before, so I didn't really know what to expect. But so far, so good. So I picked a bit of a coastal route today because I haven't been near the sea for quite a while. Just come pretty much around the peninsula. There's Plymouth right over there. I'm pretty much as far away as you can get without taking that ferry. Um, so I think I'm going to do a little bit of a loop and then I might actually catch the ferry back just to uh, get the full experience you know I think you can get over there for free with a bicycle so I might take advantage of that might eat my cake on the ferry actually that'd be nice but um, yeah for now sun's out so I'm gonna keep riding so across there is where I'm heading next When I said uh, I had to cross the river, I didn't literally think I'd be crossing the river in the river. The whole thing seems to be a road. Don't think I'd like to step into that though. Sludge. Just come through a lovely little village called Millbrook. Now just riding literally right along the edge of the coast. And it's absolutely beautiful. I would definitely recommend riding down here. I just stopped up here quickly to show you guys this epic view. So you can pretty much see everywhere I've ridden today from this point. So I've come from Plymouth just over here, gone all the way up to the bridge you can just see in the far distance there. And I've come back out to Tall Point, back inland, back down here into Millbrook, around the, the edge of the coast here. And I've just come around on this nice road up here. I think on the other side of here is actually the cliffs that I've been heading for today so hopefully that'll be just as nice and I'll be able to show you that as well. So while I'm stopped up here I'd just like to introduce you guys to uh, one of my new channel partners and supporters Straight Cut Design so some of you guys may have seen the other day uh, a little sneak preview of my new handlebar bag so Ross kindly sorted me out with a handlebar bag and a tool bag for uh, under the saddle as well it's been really good for carrying all the GoPro accessories it's waterproof uh, I can carry my food in there, tools. Today, I've actually got some birthday cake in there. So, yeah, fully waterproof, so it keeps everything dry as well. So I've got my GoPro accessories in there, food, and a few other bits. So yeah, it's perfect for storing food. It's really slick. Uh, it looks really nice, actually, as well, on the front of the bike. Uh, not too bulky and perfect size, really, as you can see there. So slots nicely under the handlebars and you got this little toggle as well that keeps it nice and tight yeah perfect for those uh long epic rides and you can bring as many sandwiches as you like so yeah i'm gonna crack on with the ride now and uh hopefully we get some continue to get some nice views and thanks very much to ross as well for for joining the journey how about that 
that for a view up on the top of the cliffs here. It's just come around Ram's Head, I think it's called. Now I'm just going to cruise along this uh, this cliff edge. Enjoy this view. I'm going to take you along for the ride. So we've come back down now off the uh, cliff top road, heading back towards Tor Point to get the ferry back across to Plymouth. Probably uh, it's going to take me just as long as it would if I rode back, but it's going to be a bit of an adventure, so I thought why not take the ferry and uh, enjoy a little trip across the river and eat my cake on the way home. So that's where I'm heading now. So just on the ferry back across the river now, as you can probably see. And we all know what time that is. Cake time. Oh yes. Bit of Colin from last night. So just finished off the ride with a bit of a loop of the city, uh, just up at the Ho now I think it's called, with the uh, nice lighthouse, the symbol of Plymouth behind me, and then uh, just a nice view across the sea. So I'm going to head back now, get some lunch, and probably just chill out this afternoon. So I just got back now, had some lunch, and uh, we've decided to go wild camping tonight. So there goes my uh, chilled afternoon out the window. But looking forward to going up to Dartmoor this evening, because uh, the weather's pretty mega now. I really enjoyed the ride this morning actually. Um, some pretty beautiful roads around here. Yeah, I think I'd like to come back down and uh, ride a little bit more. I think I might get a chance to ride tomorrow, but not too sure. Um, but I'd definitely like to come back, maybe on a mountain bike, and um, ride a little bit more in Dartmoor. But yeah, it's a, bit, a beautiful, beautiful place to ride and a beautiful place to visit. So yeah, I really enjoyed coming down here for my birthday. So thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos. And I actually have a free day tomorrow. So if you have any suggestions of where to ride down here or you know the local area, then drop me uh, a comment below and I'll try and check them out before I head up back up to Macclesfield tomorrow evening. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. See you later.